Hi guys, Ramon Goose here. We're going to look at a Stratocaster today, my Strat. And we're just going to talk about what's um, really cool stuff to play on a Strat and what, what stuff I personally like and how I approach the instrument. Um, so really, when I'm talking about a Strat, I'm really talking about playing with nuances and aftertouch and just being very soulful about that uh, playing. Um, and really generally, um, it's a kind of a voice, it's like the human voice, and we all sound different on the Strat. That's a great thing about this instrument. Let me give you an example. So you can really be quite, you know, soulful with your playing and that really happens on a strap more than any other instrument, I think, you know. Um, in that kind of bluesy sort of C. Ray Vaughan and Hendrixy, you know, Mark Knopfler, all those kind of players that played the Rosewood Neck Strat. Maple Neck is a little bit different and I'll do another video on that. But just with this Rosewood, I kind of approach it like a um, Jimi Hendrix, you know, his early... <laughs> And then you've got the kind of the Steve Ray Vaughan sort of style, which is more... There's a different kind of styles, but you know Hendrix, and um, you know obviously they're using fuzz pedals and, and overdrives. But generally, you know, it's kind of like this very rhythmic, aggressive. You know, which is the Hendrix thing and the Steve Ray Vaughan. Actually, Hendrix did that as well, but and then you've got the very soulful kind of you know, Wind Cries Mary by Jimi Hendrix and Lenny. So you've got all those kind of styles, those sort of quite aggressive rhythmic ways of playing, and then the kind of ballads. But overall, it's a very much um, a nuanced sort of style of playing. You know. You know, so you, you've got to get a bit of practice in to get to that style. Now, I'm not trying to copy Jimi Hendrix. I'm not trying to copy Steve Ray Vaughan. I've listened to him. I've learned this, the repertoire. I've forgotten it, and I've tried to get my own thing going. So when I play Steve Ray Vaughan, Jimi Hendrix, I've got my own way of doing it. But but I do kind of follow them in the kind of my technique on this instrument. So what I would say is really practice your rhythm. <laughs> the strings and just and create create some kind of cool rhythms and with that octave you, know, you could spend hours doing that you know and you know just that 
none of like the Bruder child. So what you're doing there is you're kind of uh, using the, the top half of the guitar and then the bottom half. So that's a really good thing to practice. You know, split the strings in half, and so you've got that cool rhythm. And also, you hear there that I'm, I'm putting that rhythmic sort of idea. Into uh, uh, sing whatever the word is, licks and rhythm together, you know, and 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 being able to, you know, not falling over, not tripping up, nearly tripping up, but not, you know, um, a lot of songs have that kind of quality. Um, and with the Martin Offler thing, that's uh, slightly different. He's playing with his fingers here, but he's really. <laughs> Again, very soulful way of playing. And I think if you can get that in your mindset when you're playing a straight, you probably already know this, but that's just really how I approach this instrument. So one a few things that help me do that are big frets. Um, the action, well, you don't want to have it super low, but I have it quite low, but I have big frets in there just to help me get these big bends, because a lot of the time you're doing a minor third. So you're doing a bend, and another, a bend on top of that, so it's a minor third. Oh, the repertoire and the strat is that from Albert King, you know? And then you've got to bend up with your first finger to a, a whole tone. Now, the, we're talking about the neck width. I mean, this is actually 43, nearly 43 millimeters. So it's 42.6 millimeters. Um, I'm a metric guy, so that's that's what I'm talk, telling you about. But you know, it might be that you want a smaller neck. I do have a, a neck which is 42 millimeters, and it's fatter, it's more oval. So experiment on different um, sizes for your hand, because what you've got to do is be completely in control of those bends. <laughs> you know, you're bending down, well, vibrating down and vibrating up. But you can. The vibrato going down is different, slightly different from going up. But that after touch as well, you know, really practice that. So really that's, that's my sort of tips um, for playing strats, is the kind of the rhythm element, the nuance and then also kind of just using the vibrato arm a lot of people don't tend to use that now there's some people that use it floating like Hank Marvin did I prefer not to I have it completely um, down with five strings five springs so that only gives me a downward pull um, which is really great for effects you can do so you know get get your tremolo set up properly so you, and get the arm on it and I see a lot of people not even using it and it's a real shame because it's such a beautiful thing on a strap you know pickups pickups don't really matter you know it's more about the playing for me it's more about playing the damn guitar than the, the silly pickups and all the rest of the stuff so just you know just get on your strap think of it like a human voice where you're really being vocal about your notes and your aftertouch. Okay, 
Okay, that's it, guys. Uh, I hope this has um, been a cool video for you. Um, just thought I'd do this because I, I really do love getting back onto Strats. I haven't played one for a while, and it's kind of getting back into the whole world of the Strat and Hendrix and Stevie Ray and you know all those you know Mark Knopfler, and uh, you know just getting back into it. This has got 11s on this, 11 to 49. Tune to standard um, with 6100 frets. It's an ESP navigator. Um, pickups are an ESP pickup here. It's Custom Labs ESP pickup Alnico 3. And a Mojo with a base plate in the bridge. Raw vintage saddles, raw vintage springs. Everything else is Goto. And that's pretty much it, guys. It's a pretty simple, nothing special guitar. Going through a cleaner. Um, so, guys, it's been great. And I'll be uploading a video real soon. Take care.